too. <laughs> Hi everyone, uh, Ben here from PikaJ Productions. And I'm Luke. We are doing a little addendum to uh, our last podcast, which was talking about the Great Pyramid. Um, you, if you don't, if you haven't seen it, I'll put up a little window uh, over here. You can pop up and, and check that podcast out. But we had, we actually had a really good uh, response to some of um, some of the things we talked about in there, and we kind of wanted to thank people and then go through some of the the new data and new information, at least new for us, yep. uh, that came up. Yeah, I was actually really excited to see some of this stuff. There's uh, there is information floating around out there in strange places, and it's it's hard to locate it all. But we've, uh, courtesy of, of uh, a couple of people who who sent us some stuff, we have uh, some good more pictures to show you and yeah. more information. So let's get into that. This would be a quick video. We're just sort of prepping to do our next podcast, um, but. Uh, yeah, in the in the in the interim, we'll we'll sort of run through some of this data. So if you remember, we were talking about there's a couple things inside the Great Pyramid that we were specifically talking about um, as little mysteries that that you know were kind of in plain sight and that people didn't realize were there, and then like the the hole in the steel plate covering up what's obviously been an excavation and a shaft. So there right. is there is some data about that. As you can you can tell, we'll put up the address for this website too. But as you can tell, these pictures were very much taken in the 70s. Yes. Uh, yeah. By the by, the articles of clothing, but it's it's very interesting. We've got some. Uh, the guy there is lying in um, what is now used as a ventilation shaft in the the king's chamber, but there's some uh, photos of how this stuff uh, is connecting up. Yeah. Uh, that little doorway that we found. That's uh, here with the iron door. All right. So this is looking underneath the passage towards. This is at the top of the grand gallery, looking towards the uh, the, the little passageway towards the king's chamber. And um, and yeah, so what was behind that door? It's it looks like and it sounds like it's actually an air shaft that penetrates uh, to the outside of the um, of the pyramid. And I think you can kind of see it uh, drawn here in this cross section. Uh, so you see here, there's a, the king's chamber. There's actually you can see the pit as well that's shown here, and we'll we'll talk about that in a minute. Yes. Um, but here's the antechamber shown. You can kind of see it in the in the the one cross section, and you can see there's a shaft that goes up and connects sort of to the, the one of the chambers up the top, but apparently there's also an air shaft that goes to the outside from here. And I right. think this is what you're seeing him going into. So if you go around that corner, eventually it's been, the limestone's been removed so they could get at this, at this air shaft, and then that's as far, I think, as you could probably get a person in. Right, it's, it's very curious to me. I mean, I, I, how hard is it for Zahi Hawass to say, oh, this is... You know, this is what that what is. is. Why do you have to pretend like you don't know what that is? Yeah. It's very okay. odd to me, some of the shit that goes on. I yeah. Did I say shit? I you didn't did. mean to, excuse okay. me. <laughs> yeah. It's, Pardon uh, my shit. Yeah. So I don't know if this is an air shaft or what it is. That's the other. I mean, there are obviously those shafts that are in both the king's and queen's chamber. They're, right. I mean, they're miraculous wonders of precision in the way that, that you can't carve them out of the, of, the, uh, of the actual pyramid. There's no way anyone can get in there is they're only small so you have to actually have them designed in as part of it um Before so you build it yeah. right there's a and they're perfect they're like bullet straight kind of shafts that you really take a lot of precision to think about that going through yeah. all these different blocks on all these different levels all the different courses of the mm -hmm. pyramid and, and if you're off by a fraction of a millimeter yeah, not, not only is it not going to line up with whatever constellation it might be lined up with but there's not even going to be you know, the shaft in the end isn't even going to line up. There's not going to be any light. There's not even going to be like a pathway. That's right. Yeah, and you can contrast that with the official explanation for why there are so many rooms uh, in the in the king's in the, in the Great Pyramid. The official explanation from Egyptology is that oh, they just changed their mind. Uh, Cheops yeah, right. or Khufu, Greeks called him Cheops. He changed his mind several times when they were building. So initially, he was going to be buried in the subterranean chamber. That's why it's kind of unfinished, and there's a passageway at the end. They say, well, no, we're going to build a room down there. But then he changed his mind. He said, no, I want to be in the pyramid. So that's when they built the queen's chamber. Uh, and then he changed his mind again and said, no, no, actually, I want to be up further than that. So then they apparently, this is while on the fly, designed the grand gallery, changed all of the interior. While the outside was apparently, because it's you know one structure was always planned, uh, from the start, but somehow they made their change their minds on the fly, building the biggest building we've ever built uh, as a species, and only taking 20 years to do it. Which, and then changing their mind on the design several times, doesn't account for the precision of these shafts. It's kind of ridiculous. Well, you know, Egyptology is—it's really not a science. It's—I mean, it's—if it's a science, it's a very, very soft science. Mm. There's just—I uh, think it's really time, you know, that we. Yeah. We start 
saying, okay, you know, we can't say it's, we can't say exactly what it is, you know, that was done, but right. we know it's not this. Like, yeah, let's, you know, we, we just need, we need to, yeah, it's not a tomb. It wasn't built in 20 years. You know, these aren't like ventilation shafts. You know, this a, isn't wasn't where someone was going to be buried. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. a mistake to put three rooms in there. <laughs> right right it's yeah. I, I don't I, I don't believe the bent pyramid is a mistake either no, I don't think that, that angle change is a, is is a mistake I think you know these things have have a purpose yeah that's right but it however it goes but this is silly so that's a little bit more data on this shaft so what's behind that door what's now an iron grate you can see it's a uh, it's a wooden door here and again actually just to, to shout out and say thanks to Patrick uh, and thanks yes. to the uh, great Giza pyramid. Uh, for sending us this, this data and these links to these sites. And we've actually got some photos that they've sent through as well. We'll show in a second. But the other thing that we talked about is the shaft, is the pit that's underneath the great, the, in the king's chamber. Right. It's in the box area. And you actually see that. If you, if you remember, there was, yeah, there was a little hole in a yeah. steel plate in the corner that right. we found. And we were able to get our camera in there. And there was a, a chamber and you could see a, like a steel girder and, yeah. uh, and yeah, some, so, some stuff that had been definitely excavated or hollowed out. And right. we were very curious as to what that was and how far it went. Right. And along with some pictures of some pretty tight bell bottoms and a, <laughs> and a wife beater, we have... <laughs> Cigarette uh, as well. Some, <laughs> yeah. This is the 70s. <laughs> yeah, the 70s, man. It was, I mean, I was, I was alive. The 70s uh, were... Cool. This is my year, actually, 78. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's funny. I, I missed that. Kind of missed the 70s. Anyway, um, yeah. So there's there's some pretty good uh, pictures uh, here and yeah. So uh, let's let me show you some pictures. We'll come back to this in a second. So uh, a couple pictures that from underneath that hole. So again, underneath the grate. Let me actually I'll flip right back because here's what looks like was it was originally covered in wood. And this block here we'll talk about in a minute. But uh, this was originally covered in wood as you saw in our video. Now covered by steel plates that, that sort of look like granite. And then there's obviously the hole and we can only stick our camera down there and get a look from up top but there is actually a cavity under there and that as it's shown here on the, in the cross section that was and some people say i don't know exactly when this was built a lot of people say al mamun himself uh, or his team did this when they originally cracked open the uh his passageway to get in there he was digging for treasure maybe uh nothing has ever really been found in these pyramids certainly no bodies or mummies um it's not a tomb here but people you know the, the theory is that there were tombs and they were robbed and he was still digging for treasure but let's take a look at these a quick look at these pictures because I found these to be just wonderful pictures that you just you can't get in here now and this is kind of it's hard yeah. to tell what angle I mean, you're looking what at is, that is a brick wall though and yeah. you know at it's some point somebody's come in here it's a modern brick wall they've come in here and they brick that up so and he, what if they bricked off right there's apparently quite a deep shaft that goes down here and there's very little information kind of about what's been down there who's been down there who's digging up and there's something an interesting other part of that here's another angle these were both taken in 97, so you know, 20 years after those images on that website, and we're kind of nearly 20 years uh, past that now. So you know, the pyramid's still yeah. there. Its face changes, and these spaces all change well, from, as well. From what I can see too, in, in that picture, you know, what we sort of identified as like a, a steel girder or whatever, mm. that kind of in this picture kind of looks like wood. Yeah, and it, uh, it definitely been. didn't look like wood in our footage, so I don't know whether that even has been replaced. I don't like know if that's the like the wood has needed to be replaced. Yeah, I don't know if that's, I don't the, know same if that's the same corner. Yeah, I, I assume that there's most of these structures were probably replaced now with the steel girder. That's the angle iron that's right. in the corner. But right. this is kind of interesting because what this was, if we go back to this image, you see something here that that doesn't exist anymore, or nobody really knows where this is. See this granite plug that this the, the yes. bell bottoms guy is standing on that's in the king's chamber that's a big block it's it's a big heavy block and it's a i i got told that this was too big to then fit uh back out through the the passageway and through the doors so it's not there anymore so what what's happened to this block this is a big granite block from inside the pyramid it could have been destroyed and broken into small pieces it could have been used as filler for that hole it might actually be back in the hole this was the plug that was in the shaft right. hole. um and whether that was an intentional or who dug it, it's just there's just so many things we don't know uh, about the Great Pyramid, not least of where the hell this block is now. Yeah, it's it's really you know for for it being the most famous and impressive building on the face of the planet, you'd think we would have a a really clear uh, history of everything that we've done yeah. and uh, everything that's been found, and uh, it should just be. 
extremely well documented and it's not it's not right so anyway that was a little addendum to our podcast on the great pyramid thanks again to those of us who contacted i thought the response to it was great i mean we're just getting started yeah. but but very gratifying to to have people reach out and then offer more information and trying to share that data yeah, that's that that's all we're trying to do as well is the russian the uh wiki link that patrick sent us you've got to translate it in your your browser yeah, google does a pretty good job of it but there's some interesting links uh on that site too and um yeah really thank you very much guys for, yeah. for sending that stuff in because you know the more we know the more you know, the we more we can share indeed all right so cheers, thanks for tuning to our next podcast and we'll talk to everyone then.